Pascal, you've been gone for so long, I forgot to ask you an important question. <laughs> what day is it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? I don't know, because you always come up on race day and ask me what day it is. <laughs> See? We're eating pizzas. <laughs> Watching the race, Jake. <laughs> No, to do. I got can't the... keep up with all my poses, can ya? Tell me about the shoe choice for the day, Pete. The world champ shoes. Only wearing them on winning days. <laughs> Today is obviously race day for world champs, and hopefully you've gotten to watch the race already. Obviously it's a little annoying with some of the geo restrictions in place, but there'll definitely be some spoilers in this video. But the day started off really slow today. But there's nothing made in Canada anymore. It's all just made. What was that? But right at the last minute, after final practice runs were complete, there were some last minute adjustments being made. It kind of goes into deep stroke, so I guess like. In the back. Yeah, and the front, really, I suppose. But it's just like on quite harsh compressions. Like, do you know where that Teo Dogstone is? It's like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like a rocky gully and it's, there's two or three compressions along there like, as you bottom out towards the bottom of the gully. And it just feels like I'm, it could just like compress and go left or compress and go right. Like I, okay. it's, it's, I'm almost, I want, I'm riding it faster now, but I feel like I'm gri gripping it so tight to try and make sure it, it goes straight. But it feels like after you compress and then it's kind of unwaiting yeah. and it wants to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like mid stroke and stuff, it feels fine, but when it goes like deep in this travel, I can't control it. Okay. Let's just slow that one down more. I go to on high. I think that should settle the back end. I think that'll help the front. That'll help the front. It's more, I guess it is more the rear. It doesn't really feel like. It's trying to push you on a bit. Yeah, it's just trying to push me on a bit. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Nice. Thank you. Good luck, you guys. Uh, slowed high speed rebound down on his shock. Not totally sure why it's changing so much right now. Because it hasn't warmed up. Tracks change, but maybe people are just going faster. Just too fast. Uh, yeah. Seems like. Almost did a Bruni. Same thing with Eden. Back kicked up too, but obviously a little bit stronger than Bruno. I managed to hang it on and keep going. But uh, it's like all those softer hits are now compact a bit. So I'm getting a bit of kick on the back. And the front, I feel like it's just too fast. But I mean, like, I'm on too low, too high speed. Doesn't matter where you are, we want it to work. But I don't want it slow. Yeah. I'm also going through all the travel, which looking like pretty much that's happening right in the beginning too. Like the first first minutes of track. I feel like I could control the rear on nine on low speed rebound. Eight could control that. That will stop the so kicking. I feel like it's more <laughs> Slowing low is going to just drop it a little bit on. Huh? Like ride height will get a little bit lower. You'll get a little more feeling. Just never the worst thing on the rear. No. In the shot of track once or twice. Smashed the pedal pretty hard on a rock. I just feel like I'm pushing a bit harder now and the track more compact. So everything I am hitting, I'm pinging on. Meaning the like powder stuff got more Yeah. But I feel like I'm going quite deep and it's coming back too quick, so I'm like, yeah, it's like I'm going through the fork for no reason. That's what's irritating me the most. I'm going to slow the water. I know it's back where we were, but something's changed a little bit. I mean, the pressure was good, just out of double checking this. Yeah. What do you want to do? It's not going to like that. No, no. That's hot. Yeah. Slow the low. That high you slow down, it goes like 
from 1 to 20. It's like one click is too much. We're at now, well, you're 10. Yeah, okay. Then great. Yeah, one should be fine. Drop one. One and one. On low. Hello. The rest is up to you. You know, I've given you 100%. That's the difference and that's what the world needs to change because percentages don't show effort. Your 100% might not be what my 100% is. Obviously not. You know, when people work hard and they say they're doing 100% and you think shit. All he's been doing is sitting in that pit, eating croissants. No croissants. Giving people shit and you I say you're giving 100%. <laughs> yeah, because that's all these okay. snacks for race day and they're almost gone. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, I think, I think that's the right thing. Because at least it's even as well. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for stopping by. No time. Okay. We'll talk to you guys soon. Oh! They both said that with the moisture, we got a little rain last night and it kind of tamped down the dust. And that dust can make everything feel kind of vague so you don't necessarily get the same feelings and now it's kind of packed in. So if it stays that way, since the ground's actually harder without the dust, you get more feel out of the bike. So maybe the slower rebound actually helps them like calm the bike down a little bit. It's difficult to capture on camera the amount of energy and effort and care that goes into racing. And not just from the athletes, but from all of the supporting roles from the Fox team to the athletes mechanics and even the support of the crowd and the, the fans of mountain biking. Schaefer and I are lucky enough to get to follow the Fox team around and kind of just stand back and, and watch them work. And it's so obvious that this isn't just a job to them. There's so much more personal investment in what they do. You know, you'll pick up on these little things like Pete wearing a brand new pair of shoes or Pascal getting a fresh haircut for race day and you realize that they're not just here to support their favorite athletes, they're here to support their friends. And especially with a guy like Greg that they've been working with for so long, it just makes it that much more special for him to be the world champion. These people do the work they do out of an honest and genuine love of mountain biking. And race day is when you can turn around, look back, and just say, you know, it was worth it. Yes! 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 Jackson winning juniors, uh, Merriam and women's. I think we had top 10 women. And then this. I'm crying a little bit. <laughs> Holy fuck. I didn't think it was gonna happen. But then it got closer and closer and you're always just kind of like, nah, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Then it happened. 